In our busy day life, each of us desires to be successful. Therefore, we all have to try all our best to do in our busy daily work. That's the same when you learn English. And you know what? On the way leading to success in general and completing English in particular, you must face a lot of difficulties and failures, as failure is mother of success. That's right for you and that's right for me. Before working as English teacher, I had to work my guts out. I couldn't remember how many times I gave up, stepped on, gave up and stepped on. Each time I reminisce about that moment, I can't give up the feeling of sheep. Almost everyone opposed me. My parents could accept the true fact. Their daughter quit her university to challenge new things and didn't know how her future will be. Even some of my relatives said that, well, the grass is greener on the other side. I fell into the state of lonely, self-pity only, lack of money, tools, without sport, and with a very basic starting point as well as serious pronunciation errors. I felt puzzled as soon as I decided to study by myself. I still remember that, in the first days of studying listening skills, I couldn't hear clearly even just simple words that was like bubble bee in my ears. And when I started learning speaking skills, it took me hours to practice just a short sentence. Really, there were hundreds of times I complained, regretted, and wanted to give up. But I didn't dare because I was afraid of shyness, slows. And one more important thing is, learning English is my cherished desire for a long time. I want to use English to communicate with whoever. I want to use English to learn whatever I love. And I want to use English to reach my dream. And then I kept up my wills, my spirits, took it easy and found out my own way of learning English calmly. And it turned out to be a piece of cake. The only way to begin speaking in a new language is to begin to speak badly. And before you can speak, you must listen a lot, a lot, a lot without resisting. Look at the babies. They never wonder why they have to use this structure or that structure. They also never study new vocabulary by translating. There are four parts in learning English. Listening, speaking, reading and writing. It means that listening and speaking are two of the most important ones. And reading, writing will be two of the stepping stones to help you to express yourself clearly. So, how about pronunciation and grammar? Yes, pronunciation plays a very important role in speaking English. However, it doesn't mean that you must imitate 100% native speaker's accents, provided that you can avoid mispronunciation, especially ending sounds, and try to speak clearer. English is simple as a global lingua franca to help people through the world can understand together. About grammar, of course, grammar helps you to perfect your syntax as well as speak more fully. But it will only bring effect into play if you have basic listening and speaking. No one studies reading literature without knowing speaking. Finally, if you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. And when you are determined, you can find out your own way of learning a new language. Push yourself, you're sure to be successful.